Hello again, everyone. Uh, sorry, uh, I don't know what happened to the last stream. It seems like it just kind of conked out there. But uh, hopefully everything's okay now. And uh, let's get back into it. So we were streaming. Um, luckily, I didn't really do anything. I didn't have a chance to do anything yet. So again, uh, Supanut uh, sent me a couple of fixes regarding the barbarian hill forts here. So um, yeah, we're playing some more Extended Cultures 5. Now, hello, Jose. Yes, the stream is back, it seems. So uh, next turn, our local hydraulic management will be done, which is uh, good to see. So let's uh, end the turn. Okay. Um, so what announcements do we have? Some uh, children, a witch. A witch increases the chance of having children. That's interesting. Um, okay, we got a trading post done. We got the hydraulic management done. So those are both good for the economy. Um, what else can I make here? I think I should um, probably make some craftsmen. Yeah, I think I'm going to make the craftsman community because uh, I really want uh, Byzantium and uh, Bithynia. I think these are going to be good provinces for me in terms of money making. So now we can uh, fight the rebels here. So let's do this. Again, I really like the... Um, the loading screens in Extended Cultures 5. Again, another look at our Celtic Swordsman. So I think I'm going to put my Celtic Swordsman on the flanks here. And our archers uh, will be in the front. And our spearmen, our warband, will be in the center. So now let's do this. So I guess the enemy is attacking us, so we'll kind of just lie in wait here. I keep forgetting to turn off restricted camera. Okay, so I think, you know what, I'll move forward and hit them with the archers. And I'll move the infantry forward as well.
Can I disable restricted camera in battle? Uh, no, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, you're right. There we go. Thank you, Max Harrison. Oh, this is a nice unit. Thracian Tureoforoi. Nice shield pattern there. I don't know why it changed my formation here, but it's okay. Okay, Hunt's Band, can you uh, start firing? Okay, so let's have our Celtic Swordsman charge at the Peltists there. Okay, so let's go get these guys. Uh, yes, 1.1 is the latest version of uh, Extended Cultures 5. And if you um, follow the Discord, um, then actually uh, there, there are some updated files there as well. Uh, that have some fixes in regards to the hill forts. Okay, so we got the Thracian Tureo Foroita route which is good. And our Celtic swordsmen are going to engage their Peltists. Okay, so I think our uh, swordsmen have to fight a little bit better against their peltists here. I'm surprised these peltists are seem to be better than the Tureo Foroi, actually. Uh, Max, so actually I have, uh, I have some videos on the channel about a lot of Rome Total War mods. Um, including, uh, I have a top five mods to play and revisit, and I have a top 10 as well. But you know what, I might, I might update that and make one for 2021 as well, because those are for uh, 2020, but not much has changed in that time. Mm, but yeah, Europa Barbarorum, uh, Chivalry Total War, Rome Total Realism, Extended Cultures is a great one. Um, well, I'm playing it right now. Um, what's another one? If you want something that's more vanilla style, there's uh, Extended Greek Mod. 
There's the SPQR mod that a lot of people seem to like, not really my style. Rise of Persia is another good mod. There are a lot of good fantasy mods as well. There's End of Days, End of Days 2. Okay, so we crushed these guys. However, their general is escaping. Roma Serectum is another classic. I don't know what to do about this general. See, um, because I believe uh, Supanut has set the general to um, be a skirmisher class unit, the, the AI is better at protecting its general. So that's actually something that's intended. The general protecting himself, that is. Perhaps he'll get within range of my archers. Okay. Now will you go to my archers? Okay. Okay, there we go, and we did it. Can we catch him? Nope. He's gone. We tried our best. What are uh, some mods um, that people would like me to cover? Also, if you like the uh, late Roman era, there are a lot of mods to choose from. There's the Invasio Barbarorum series of mods that are very good. A bit tough, but good. Okay, I've got to retrain this guy, but I don't have enough money. So Sarmi's Gatusa is actually not very well defended. So you know what? I might get greedy and take Sarmi's Gatusa. Okay. So in any case, um, yeah, everything is looking good here. Bithynia is nicely under my control, <clears throat> nicely under my control now. And it seems like Ankara will soon be ours. And it seems like Pontus has not taken control of sign up just yet. So it seems like our eastern front is somewhat secure. So I'm going to end the turn. Okay, so um well, I'm, I'm allied with the Romans. I'm not worried about them. Um, that was kind of a joke. Um, okay, so Tylus got a trading post. Thomas got a port. So that's good. Our economy is slowly but surely getting better. Um, you know what? I should make a market. 
Yeah, I'm going to make a market in Tomis. And what can I make in Argadava? Nothing. And Nikaya? Nothing. Nothing at all. So let's attack Sarmis Gatusa. Okay, we got some more archers recruited in Kabule. So things are actually okay, and now I can uh, retrain my warband in Argidava. Okay, so I actually have a decent backup military in the capital and in Tylus. So that's pretty good. So let's uh, end the turn here. So if we actually take a look at our kingdom here, our kingdom is looking quite nice on the minimap. I really think uh, Asia Minor is going to be our focus here. So let's, um, once we finish off Ankara, I'm going to mo move this army, combine forces with my other troops in Nikaya, and move south against Kaisicus, and then take Pergamum as well. And then once we take Pergamum, so Lydia is controlled by the Greek cities, as is Caria. And Pamphylia is controlled by the uh, Ptolemies. So I'm going to have to find an avenue of expansion here. Perhaps, perhaps I can go... I don't want to go up against the Scythians, the Sarmatians because I don't want to fight like steppe armies. That's going to be annoying. Okay, so we got the craftsman community in Byzantium. War declared. Can't retrain those guys just yet. But Ankara is going to surrender next turn. And Sarmis Gatusa, only five turns for uh, Sarmis Gatusa. Yeah, uh, you're, you're right, 555 five, five Rock. The uh, Pontus looks pretty weak. Yeah, they don't have too many armies, it seems. And. Um, and they haven't even taken Paphlagonia. So they are quite weak in this campaign. I might go after them. So let's... Uh, let's end the turn here. Let's see if the barbarians fight us. And it seems like that's what they're going to do. Okay, so now it seems like the hill fort looks much nicer. Remember, um, the cliff texture used to look like it was something out of Mario 64? Now it looks much nicer, thanks to uh, Supanut and his uh, fixes. And now it seems like the pathfinding is going to be better as well. So let's drop the siege equipment. Let's put our infantry into position. Celtic swords on the right and left. And I have some... Uh, Jav Cav here, Javelin Cavalry. I'm going to have them go to the left and skirmish. 
and my warlord, my general's bodyguard units, are ready. So I'm going to put them into position here near the near the cavalry. And our Falksmen, I'm going to have them on the right side. It's not just a, it's not just a boulder, it's a rock. The Galatian Warband looks nice and red. Throw your javelins. This guy got too excited trying to go back up the hill. The majesty of Rome total war. Throw the javelins. Throw the javelins. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I wonder if I should just charge him now. Throw your javelins, come on. Do siege towers shoot arrows in the mod? You mean like my siege tower? So Extended Cultures has uh, some interesting redone stuff on the siege equipment. However, I don't believe you that siege towers shoot arrows, no. Okay, so this uh, warband unit is almost done. A lovely shield on the Galatian swordsman and the Galatian warband as well. And they have some Galatian cavalry too. Now, if you mean the towers on the walls, um, then they do, but actually uh, Supanut said that you need to build tower garrison in order for them to shoot. So if you don't have the tower garrison building constructed, then, um, then they don't shoot. So you have to construct tower garrison. Uh, so these walls, according to Supanut, are from Diadochi Total War. These are Diadochi Total War uh, barbarian walls. And they are nice. Okay, so this unit is routing. Okay, so let's see if the enemy actually plans on sallying out. Okay, so this unit is leaving. Okay. Would be nice if they did something. Okay, they're coming. Okay, Thracian Raiders. You guys come up here to the front because you can skirmish. And then the Galatian Cav, together with the generals, will be behind 
the Thracian raiders supporting them. Come on, come on, Galatians, get closer. Okay, so they it seems like they want to attack my Celtic swordsmen. So I'll bring my Falksmen to flank, which is good because the Falksmen are very good offensive troops. Okay, our Thracian Peltists did a good job pelting him. Oh yeah, they got hurt pretty bad. Okay, Thracian Peltists. Charge the Galatian swordsmen. You guys get the warband. You guys get the rabble. And you guys come support the cavalry. Okay, so those guys are routing. So now it's just rabble. Essentially the uh, mob style units from Empire Total War. Okay, this Galatian cav is starting to annoy. So let's send in the generals. And let's move move our Galatian cavalry in close. Hello, Georgi. Good to see you. Yeah, the Thracians look awesome in this mod. That's partially why I'm still streaming this campaign. Yeah, this is a bad route. So remember, these guys are routing, but they're running in this direction. Oh, they have slingers. Go get the slingers. Let's take a look at our... Um, General's bodyguard again. Our Thracian warlord. This mod is stable. It Right now it's at version 1.1. Uh, you can find it on um, mod DB, and I think there's a link in the description. So yeah, the mod's pretty stable, especially if you um, uh, install the light sound mod version. Um, that one is more stable. So it seems like we crushed everyone here on the hill. Or they're still, they're routing at us. That's odd. 
The Thracian shields are sick too, right? Yeah, the Thracian cav is pretty sick, that's for sure. Okay, let's uh, occupy and spare the population. Okay, so Galatia is ours. That's nice. So what can I um, recruit here? So Gal Celtic Swordsman, Galatian Cav, Galatian Warband. Let's compare them to the Celtic Swordsman. So the Warband... Um, the Warband's a lot cheaper. That's for sure. So it seems like I like the warband. They they have more troops and they're cheaper than the Celtic swordsmen. But the Celtic swordsmen have higher attack. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But in any case, um, I should construct a Thracian muster field here. Yeah. And then let's see. I should also retrain my Galatian cavalry, which I can do. Um, Hello, Arshak the first. Good to see you. We did, we fought a nice battle and took Ankara. Okay, can't retrain my other unit. Can I retrain one of these units in Ankara? You know, I'll just retrain them all. That's going to upgrade their armor. So, um, yeah, Ankara's ours. That's nice. That's nice, but the population is low. But the population is low. Uh, sorry, just give me one moment here. Okay, sorry about that. So in any case, um, everything is looking pretty good except for the giant Roman armies that are uh, sitting outside my cities and, you know, the giant Roman armies of troops that are better than mine, mostly. Except I have, I have cavalry. The Thracian cavalry is pretty good. Yes, Ruairi, we will watch this burgeoning Thracian Empire. So let's um, end the turn. Uh, trade with uh, Germania. All right. How about map information? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, extended cultures is pretty stable, I'd say, especially if you um, install the light sound because uh, you have installation options with the .exe install file. So uh, if you install the light sound version, it's very stable indeed. Um, more stable than a lot of other major mods. Um, Okay, let's increase our tax rate everywhere, everywhere I can, in any case. Yeah, my tax rate is up there. Let's put it up in Tylus as well. 
I have to tax my core provinces more uh, because um, I just need more money. Guards. Market. I need a market. Um, Sirmium. Okay. Pumping up the tax rate there. Argadava is already very high. Thomas. Okay. Thomas is at high. Okay. So now that we have Ankara, I have to leave a garrison here. Perhaps I'll leave these Peltists. Or you know what? I'll leave these Galatians. And I will um, leave Ankara. And I'll send this army uh, against Kaisicus. And I'll actually reinforce this army with a good general. Yeah, so I'll reinforce this army with Bizas and uh, the Thracian Cavan Peltists. You know, this guy, my faction leader, he can stay in Nikaya. Oh, seems like Nikaya is not very happy. So I'm going to give them perhaps these Peltists. Nope. Perhaps some Galatians. Okay, now they're at 70, so they are sufficiently happy. Just sufficiently. Can I retrain these archers? I can. Okay, I'll give them a little more Galatian cab. Okay, hopefully they stay happy. Happy enough. And then uh, with Bizas' army, I'll attack Kaisicus. Um, okay, so everything is looking pretty nice. Yeah, everything's looking pretty decent. So let's keep it going. Okay, Ankara got the Thracian muster field. Now I can make a meeting hall. So yeah, Ankara doesn't get access to the other Thracian barracks, with which is uh, which Supanut calls the Bithynian barracks. So that's the um, which one is that one? It's not the auxiliary town barracks. I think I might have to upgrade um, my settlement here. But in any case, the meeting hall is the, um, oh, yeah, the Bithynian barracks is also in Byzantium here. So there's the Thracian, um, where is it, where is it? Militia barracks. So the militia barracks is actually what Supanut terms the Bithynian barracks. And this gives access to more Hellenistic, Hellenized type units. Whereas the meeting hall gives access to the more barbarian, Thracian local type units. So in Galatia, I only have access to the meeting hall, the barbarian type barracks, which is a nice touch. Um, perhaps I should make it. But I should make a granary, perhaps. In any case, I have to attack Kaisicus. Okay, so Nikaya is not happy at all. Oh, I don't have... Uh, I don't have enough troops defending Nikaya. Oh, Nikaya is not happy. This is not looking good. 
I'm gonna get my troops out of Nikaya. I'll have Nikaya uh, rebel, perhaps, or not rebel, but riot. Perhaps I should make a um, meeting hall. Yeah, I think I'll go for the game field for now. Hello, Ben Pen. Good to see you. I wonder if Pontus wants to attack me. If they attack me, I'm down to fight. I'm ready. Okay, so at least our economy is doing a bit better. Um, I've really got to make more craftsmen. So where am I not constructing anything? Sardike. If I make a Thracian meeting hall there, I'll get Getic Phalangites and Thureophoroi. That sounds pretty good. That does sound pretty good. Uh, this is kind of an amalgam. This is like a Thra Thrace Bithynia. So with the reforms, uh, you get access to like Bithynian type units. So it's kind of an amalgam faction. It's not like a Lysimachus faction. Okay. So Thomas. Oh, I have step hunters in Thomas now. And actually, these archers are much better than my Huntsband archers. So I, it would be a good idea to recruit some of those guys. But you know what? Perhaps I should make Sacrificial Ground, which gives a population growth bonus to Thomas. But you know what? I'm going to go for the local hydraulic management. It's the brothel of the Extended Cultures 5 mod. Okay. Um, perhaps... Yeah, perhaps I'll make a trading post in Argadava. It seems like a good idea economically to do so. Can't quite retrain my Thracian raiders. But uh, things are looking fairly good, fairly good. So I will, um, you know what, I'll, uh, oh, I can't retrain my Celtic swords either. Yeah, extended cultures has pretty high unit costs, that's for sure. So let's keep it going. Oh my goodness, more free people attacks. Okay, Nikaya's mad. Can we go back into the city? No, they're too mad. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull back some of my infantry here. Okay, now Nikaya's okay. Okay, that's good, that's good. So let's, um... Do I know any good Diadochi mod with all the factions of Alexander's generals like Lysimachus? Uh, yes, there is one called When Worlds Collide. It's a sub-mod for Roma Serectum 2. Excellent mod. I might play it on the channel. So let's go for, um, yeah, Watchman, I think is going to be good for public order. But you know what? Let's go for the Craftsman community. Okay, fine. Let's go for Stone Quarry.
drought in Greece, okay. Okay, let's attack Sarmis Gatusa. Oh my goodness, why did I do that? Okay, in any case, I took the city. Let's repair all that and then I'll retrain my troops. It's okay, it's, it's the nature of things. Now we have to uh, sally out there. So let's get Lycurgus, some Falksmen, some archers together. And let's attack these barbarians. Okay, so again, let's take a look at our lovely Thracian general. Very cool, right? Looks pretty sick. Hello, Emra. Good to see you. Now let's get our, let's put our archers uh, in the front. Our Thracian raiders will flank from above. Our falksmen will uh, be behind the archers. And our warlord will be behind the raiders. Hello, Darian. Good to see you. Okay, so there's the enemy there. So let's move our archers there. Falksmen behind. Thracian raiders and the general on the left flank. Okay, so let's get these troops together. Okay, so the Peltists... I suppose I'll put the warband on the right and left sides of the infantry. Or whatever, I'll just do it this way. Bradley says, uh, hi, I'm new to, new to this mod. Is it like EB1 or Rome Total Realism? Extended Cultures is very unique. It's, I'd say it's very, it's very different. It's very unique. A lot of building. More building than EB1, even. I'd say it's more similar to EB1 then but but it has elements of both if you think about it okay so um let's put our galatian cav on the right what is better horse archers uh hello forgotten noble thank you for subscribing um, Ben Penn says which is better horse archers or regular archers in this mod um, horse archers are pretty good in this mod I'd say horse archers because I did play as Tuhara in the first stream of extended cultures and uh, the Tuharian horse archers were pretty nasty Okay, you know what, Galatian Cav? Let's go hit these guys hard. Okay, I've got some Thracian raiders here, so I'll have them move forward and harass.
Uh, I mean, Extended Cultures is definitely more vanilla styled than EB or RTR, but the the campaign mechanics are what sets it apart. Like, it feels like an expanded game, really. Um, more than, even more than EB, perhaps. Okay, Galatians doing a good job against those Peltists. Now move behind the enemy troops there. Extended Cultures 5 is available on ModDB. I wish I had some archers in this army. Oh, I do. Okay, Falksman, go take out these Hippocontistai. And General, move in as well. Okay, Peltists, go get those Peltists. Warband, go get these Peltists. You guys go get these guys, and you guys get the Militia Phalangites. Okay, Falksman, hit these Peltists. Thracian Raiders, move up. Okay, General, charge those Peltists. Galatians, charge the Peltists. Nice charge, Galatians. There we go. Okay, the enemy phalangites turned around, so let's get our general out of there. And there we go. Nice hit there. Home run. Nice work indeed. Uh, Extended Cultures 5 is definitely an overhaul mod. It is no doubt an overhaul mod. Oh, some Roma Serectum? Yeah, you're right, I should do do some. I should. Oh boy. The carnage. Hello, Supanut. Uh, so, again, everybody, Supanut is the creator of Extended Cultures 5. So you can ask him any questions you like.
the horse models. Uh, maybe Supanut might know about the horse models. Okay, just one last guy left, and this battle is over. Okay, there you go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So, um... Yeah, we are constructing, we just finished the game field in uh, Nikaya. And we are going to repair all those other buildings, so that's good. Um, Lycurgus is a confident commander now, so that's good to see. Good work, Lycurgus. Let's retrain those uh, Thracian raiders. Because they are quite good. I do like them quite a bit. So actually, let's get these Galatian cavalrymen to anchor. And I will uh, retrain them once I have some more money. So yes, yeah, Samiz Gatusa, I have to repair those buildings, that's for sure. But I have a feeling... Can I just assault Kaizikus? Okay, that's okay. There we go. So now Pergamum... Pergamum has a decent-sized garrison. So if I take, um, hmm, so if I take uh, Bizas and uh, Iptakens with my other troops here, oh, the enemy has a big army there. Okay, I'm going to have to bulk up this army in Kaizikas here. Yeah. Oh, my elephant... I have elephant grazing grounds. Interesting. Some interesting uh, units can be recruited here in uh, Kaizikas. The Eastern Axemen, which have pretty good armor piercing. Okay. I'll think about that. But uh, next turn, we should be in a much better financial position here. So let's uh, end the turn, see what happens. Okay, so we repaired pretty much everything. And our economy, look at that. That's a lot better now. Let's... Supanut. Should I repair the grazing grounds? The elephant grazing grounds? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Can I train elephants? I want elephants. Supanut, spelling, or there's two ofs here, Sanctuary of of Ma. Okay, so now 
I should re retrain my Galatian calf. I don't have enough population here. I've really got to bump up my population in um, Ankara. So I will do the... Um, Okay, I'll do the granary. Granary in Ankara. And in Sarmis Gatusa, I already have a lot of good units trainable here, so that's good. But I don't have much population, so I've definitely got to make a grain tax office. Perhaps sacrificial ground. Local factional government would be good, too. I'll retrain whoever I can. Okay. So things there are looking nice. And in Titus, I'll retrain my cavalry and warband. Okay, and now our military is looking much better. So let's do the warlord's storehouse in Tylus as well. And in Sardike, I should probably make surface digging mines. Yeah, so let's make the surface digging mines. I think that's going to really improve our economy even more. So let's uh, keep it going. Okay. Transgression. Wait a minute, they attacked me. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, Darian says, um, what other genres do you like to play aside from RTS? I like RPGs. I like RPGs. I like um, uh, yeah. I like RPGs. I don't know what else to tell you. Okay, so I'm gonna destroy the elephant um, grazing grounds. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. And I should destroy the Greek barracks, correct? Yeah, so I'm going to find the elephant grazing ground. Where is it? I don't see it. I don't see the elephant grazing ground, so I can't destroy it. That's so strange. Does anyone see it? That's odd. Yeah, it's just not there. Okay, I guess I'll just destroy it through this screen. Bye-bye, elephant grazing ground. Okay, so now I have the money to fight Rome. Okay, now let's build up a nice army near Tylus here. So I'm going to take Lycurgus. Luckily, Sirmium doesn't have too many troops in it. Or, I mean, luckily, Sirmium is not super important to me right now. 
Okay, let's get these troops together. I'm gonna send these troops to uh, Kabule. And um, hello, Marcus, good evening. So let's see, what else can I make here? Um, Falksman might be good due to their armor piercing. You know what? I think I'm going to train a couple of Falksmen. Let's get these Falksmen and Archers together as well. Okay, Thomas. Thomas is still building its hydraulic network. Yeah, this is not a zero turn recruitment mod like Roma Erectum. So it's one turn recruitment mostly. Okay, so Ankara. Okay, so it would be nice to build local factional government in a few more places, but I'm fighting with the Romans now. So I don't think I have the funds to do that. What I want to do is I want to get Bizas and Iptakins and these guys back with the Thracian troops. Yeah, I'm going to send them to uh, Nikaya. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna mostly try to garrison my uh, Bithynian Asia Minor territories with um, with uh, Galatian troops because I can retrain the Galatians here uh, more easily. So I'll try to keep Galatian garrisons in this area. Okay, I'll send these guys onto the ship and I'll drop them off. Very good. So now I'll let these guys go to Kabule and uh, I'll retrain them there. This army is actually pretty good. I think with this army I can take down that Roman army there under Captain Attius. So let's uh, do our best here. Um, I actually want to save some money. Manufacturer's Workshop is actually a pretty good building because that'll lower inflation across the empire. So I'll do the Manufacturer's Workshop. And then in Tomis, I should make um, a trading post. And in Byzantium, I should make a harbor port. I believe. Yeah, I'm going to make a harbor in Byzantium. And then I'll uh, save up my money here. I'm going to save money because I have troops to retrain. Yeah, I'm going to send these guys to Kabile. So let's end the turn. Sarmatia wants trade rights. Let's do that. Okay. So Princess Andina can get married to Phinipos. He's a good ambusher. And he's a barbarian. This man is a barbarian. And he's 16. And he has a pretty nice mustache for a 16-year-old. Should I let him marry the princess or not? Yeah, let's go with it. I need as many troops as I can get. 
Okay. You guys go retrain over there. You guys too. Lycurgus. Move against Metius Juventus. Isn't that the name of a soccer team? I don't even know. I don't know anything about soccer. What do I look like? A non-American? <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. So our economy is actually pretty good right now. So I'm, I'm happy. I wish the Romans weren't blockading. Yeah, I'm getting blockaded, Supanut, so I don't think I have good sea trade going on right now. Okay, so in Kaisicus, I should make some Toxotai as garrison, and I'll send these Galatians to Ankara as well for retraining, especially once Ankara actually has population. So let's uh, build the grain tax office so that Ankara grows faster. And uh, Tylus is um, looking pretty good right now. Was I making a mine in Sirmium? No, the mine I was making was in Sardike. Yeah. So in Nysos, it would probably be a good idea to make a farm, to upgrade my farm. So that's what I'm going to do. And in Tylus, Forester Tax Office. You know, I don't know. I might go for the surface digging mines. I might do that. And then in Argedava, I can make a, a craftsman community. Okay, so militarily, we're looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. So let's... Uh, Let's keep it going. Okay. Lycurgus, attack Metius Juventus. I'm not excited about facing this Roman infantry with my Thracian troops. But let's try our best. Okay, let's start deployment. Okay, so I've got one archer unit, unfortunately. I'm going to put my Thracian Cavalry on the left. Yeah, the Thracian Cavalry and the General on the left. And then the Galatian Cavalry on the right. And then I'll put my um, Peltists. Um, you know what? I'll put the warband on the sides uh, to protect from flanking cavalry. And then I'll have the Falksman be kind of in the middle. So let's do this. So these are the Romans.
Okay. Hello, Imperator. How are you? So Galatians. Move forward and harass from the right. And uh, Thracian Raiders. Move forward and harass from the left. Someone recently made a comment about my battle skills that um, I'm not exactly Legend of Total War. And uh, that's true. I'm definitely not the best battler. But I hope you can forgive me. Okay, so let's move. Move our cavalry up a bit. I just remembered we're the ones attacking. So I have to attack. And then the archers as well. And the general. Everyone says, like, don't kill the Romans, don't kill Carthage, but they're the ones that attack me. I have a right to defend myself. Throw the javelins. There we go. Show your backs to the javelins. That's right. Okay, the Roman general is running after my cavalry. That's what I want them to do. Okay, Galatian Cav, move back a bit. Okay. Now Thracians move up again. Keep pelting them. Okay, good job getting away from those principes there. Okay, you know what? Galatian Cav and Thracian Cav. Let's get that Roman general. Oh, the Roman escaped. How dare you? Okay, let's just uh, pelt them with projectiles.
So these trees look better than the ones in uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. If anyone knows what I'm talking about. Let's see our general charge the back of the Prinky Pays. Wow, these uh, Roman infantry is tough. They should have broken by now. Come on, go down, go down. Galatians, charge. Thracians, charge. Okay, there we go. A real multicultural mosh pit right here. Oh, Arshak the first, you missed. Um, we had a battle at another hill fort, and uh, Supanut has fixed the hill forts. They look much better and they perform much better as well. I think Supanut, you missed it as well, but it it perform it looks much better. Thank you. Yeah, we got most of the enemy. The general escaped. Okay. Good work, Lycurgus. And we didn't lose that many troops. No, not bad at all. So now let's uh, go after Captain Vopiscus. I think we'll be able to hold him off if we're lucky. But let's see. So, Bizas, park your troops in Kabile and let's um, retrain. Oh, my population is low. Darn. Tylus is okay. Kabile is low. I've really got to just let my cities grow. I think I expanded a bit too quickly. But it seems like things are going pretty well. Let's make a grain office in Kaisicus. And in Ankara, let's retrain our Celtic swordsmen. And let's send our other Galatian troops to Ankara as well. Okay, so I think Things are looking pretty okay. Let's send these Thracian Peltists to Kabile as well. And uh, you know what? Let's make some Toxotai archers to protect Byzantium. And in Tylus, we should make some more... I'm not sure. We are making mines. You know what? I need more cavalry. The Romans are weak against the cavalry. I need to make more. And let's retrain our warband. And these other troops. 
uh, the Hunts Band. I'm gonna have to retrain them at uh, Sarvike? No, at Kabile. Yeah. Okay, so I have to send the Hunts Band to Kabile. That's what I'll do. Okay, let's get ready to rumble. Pontus wants to ally. That's fine with me. I don't want to fight with them right now. How about map information? This proposal is not appropriate. What's wrong with you? Uh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Supanut, can I have the old hill forts back? I could protect those. Okay, slingers. You're going to have to do some work today. Where are the Romans? No, they're over here. How dare they do this to me? This is not going to go well. That's not good. Yeah, let's just watch this happening. Happening. Yeah, this is not good. Yeah, this is not going well. Let's look at the ratio of Romans to Thracians that are falling off the wall. Hey, there are a couple of Romans. Okay, yeah, this battle's over. Well, we got 200 of them. Okay, so now this is a problem. Oh, my faction leader died. But now Bezas is my faction leader and he has quite a few command stars. So I have a feeling 
this is going to go well. I just have to retrain these troops. So Bizas, you take this cavalry, the peltists, the archers, and let's try to build up a new army. Falksman, warband, Galatian troops. This army is looking good already. So you know what? I'm going to send it up to Sarmis Gatusa. Lycurgus, I'm going to send you, yeah, go around here, go around the back, hit Sirmium. And then um, Bizas will hit the other Roman army that's coming towards Sarmis Gatusa. Good call on Thomas. Let's repair those buildings. So let's, um, what should we do? What should we do? We're constructing some nice buildings in Asia Minor. The Grain Depot, now that's a nice building. Yeah, what I need to do is I'm going to construct the steam baths. Can't retrain, not enough population. Okay, and Sardike just finished those mines. So you know what? Let's, uh, let's go for the meeting hall. I need to be able to uh, recruit my archers and other important troops in uh, more cities. All right. So I think things are looking pretty good. Let's end the turn here. Rome wants me to become a protectorate. What do I look like? Not a streamer? Okay, now this is going to be a fight. Yeah, this is going to be a fight here. I'm ready. Let's do this. Belial says, man, this game looks so good with the mod. Yes, it does. This mod uses the uh, Veggie mod campaign map and battle map textures, which are very nice. Another look at our warlord, Lycurgus. So like before, let's uh, set up our infantry. Peltists on the flanks, archers in the back, Galatians on the right, Thracians on the left. General supporting the Thracians on the left. And let's do this. Let's beat these Romans. I believe these are Supanut's formations for the AI, so they have quite a good formation going here.
Uh, Belial, are you talking about the battle AI? Because if so, I think it handles the, um, the new formations pretty well. Yeah, our Thracian archers are not uh, not quite as good as other archers like Scythian archers. Okay, we're moving. Galatians, harass the right side. Thracians, you're doing well. Thracians, you hold off those Hastati. Warlord, get away. No, he charged without orders. Lycurgus. Lycurgus. Oh, skirmishing is on. Okay, Galatians, come in closer. Okay, let's do this. Come on, archers. Keep firing. Keep firing. Keep pounding the Roman infantry. Okay, Galatian Cav, hit those slingers. Charge at the Greek spears. Come on. Okay, that was a nice charge. Galatians move closer, move in closer. Ah, those prinky pays are nasty. Thracians charge at the Hastati. You've done enough damage to them. The right flank has collapsed. Okay, so we got those guys to route. That's good. Hit those slingers. Get those slingers to route. Okay, the Hastati are done. That's good. Okay, now Cav. Hit the Roman general. Get him. Archers keep firing at those Prinky Pace. Okay, peltists. Pelt those prinky pays. Okay, the Roman general is almost done. Seems like. It seems like the prinky pays are retreating.
Come on, hit him. How is he avoiding all these javelins? Throw javelins, throw your javelins. Get him. Like a true Roman running from Thracians. All right. So that actually turned out pretty well. Execute my Galatians. Now this was a nice victory. This was the victory Thrace needed. Okay. So now the king... I'm going to have him move up north through uh, Sarmis Gatusa. And uh, I'm going to move Lycurgus. You know what? I might move Lycurgus against Segestica. Because uh, it's not well defended at all. Okay, so Kabule can retrain nothing. That stinks. But luckily with the workshop that won't change my public my population population growth at all. No, I just have to uh wait seems like. Perhaps I'll uh, lower the tax burden on Kabule. Okay, so we did construct some nice economic buildings. So now we got Thracian city barracks we can make in Byzantium. And that will give us access to quite a few units, including Phalangites, Takabara, Cappadocian Cav. Wow. But it depends on the province it's in. So in Byzantium, you know what? I should make the city barracks. That would give me access to some nice units. But I could also spend that money elsewhere. Okay, let's retrain those cavalry in Ankara. And let's go for the meeting hall. And in Kaisicus. That's looking good. Nikaya is looking good. Uh, Thracians, uh, they, they were, they had Hellenistic influence. Uh, they had Dacian influence. Um, they had their own culture. And then some of the tribes in Asia Minor, like the Bithynians, the Bithynians actually came from Thrace. So they were actually pushed during the, um, the Celtic migrations. So they were pushed into Asia Minor around that period, or perhaps a little bit before. But um, yeah, so the Bithynians 
that's why Bithynia is an important part of Thrace in extended cultures because um, you can get access to like Near Eastern Bithynian type troops if you upgrade certain parts of the, or if you upgrade to certain barracks types in extended cultures five. So uh, yeah, uh, Supanut, why can't I make a an upgraded like a Bithynian barracks in Nikaya? I can make a muster field, but I think I need something, or I'm missing something here. If I go to the building browser. Yeah, you said I need muster field and then I can make um, the the Bithynian type barracks. Uh, Medje of Fayum. Um, now, hello, by the way. Um, uh, yeah, they, they had their go their own gods. It was like a kind of like the Armenian pantheon where it it, it was there was a mixture there was a mixture it was a syncretic pagan religion i would say syncretic is the word i was looking for uh did i demolish the old one in nikaya um yes yes So let's um let's make some craftsmen in Tylus and some more Galatian cavalry. And then in Sarmis Getusa, let's make sacrificial ground. And then our king will go after the Romans at Sirmium. And Lycurgus will go for Segestica. And then our king will go for Salona. And then perhaps we'll go for Noricum. This is a free town. Yes, no, this is also Roman, a kink. So perhaps I'll send both armies or remnants of both of them to go up and take out the Romans there. And then maybe I'll invade Italy. Ah, so Supanut, um, yeah, so it has a Thracian settlement and it has Hellenic Apoika and it has native culture Phrygian and large colony Persian. So, um, I mean, it is Bithynia itself, so I would think it would give access to the Bithynian barracks. That would just be my thought. Okay, so let's keep this campaign going. Armenia wants an alliance, trade rights, and map information. That sounds good to me. Okay, so this Prince Spargapethes wants to marry our Princess Aulusa. He's a confident attacker and a confident commander, so I'm going to go with yes. Because that's uh, what you look for when choosing a husband for your princess, right? That he has good command skills. All right. The king of Thrace against the consul of Rome. Let's do this.
Okay. So, um, yeah, this is the full might of Thrace. Against a quite powerful Roman force. So Thracian Cav on the right and on the right, supported by the Galatian Cav. Thracian Cav on the left, supported by the King's bodyguard. And I'd say we're ready. Let's do this. Okay, Thracian Cav, it's time to harass. Ah, the Romans have Celtic cavalry as well. Um, regarding the Thracian colony in Nikaya, I will uh, check. That's probably what I'm missing. The, the correct government branch, perhaps. I have to check. Are the Romans retreating? Or are they just going back into their formation? Yeah, the Romans are getting pelted. That's a good sign. Um, Thracian militia, did it show up before? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, let's take down the enemy general here. I think we can kind of lure him away from his army. Get out, Galatian, get out, okay. Okay, Huntsman, move forward, infantry, move forward. Okay. Throw your javelins, come on. How can you skirmish if they're not even within range of throwing your javelins? Okay.
king. Move against the Celtic Cav. Does anyone remember a game called Celtic Kings? I remember having that as a kid, and I thought it was super fun. But nobody ever talks about it. It was like one of, it was kind of like Command and Conquer, but with uh, Celtic people. I think the Roman AI is confused due to my harassment. Okay, Galatians. Okay, we got their Celtic war band to rout. King, charge the Prinky Pace from the back. Okay, Thracian Raiders. Go charge, 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 charge. Did the enemy general escape again? Okay, and the Hastati have also been routed. Now all that's left are these uh, Principes. Okay, very good. Okay, everyone. This was a clear victory. So let's take a look at the battle statistics. Now, as you can see, my uh, general takes the cake. But, uh, you know, my infantry, my Falksmen, did heavy damage to their infantry. And um, my Thracian Raiders and Galatian Cav were also very effective. Actually, everyone was pretty much effective here. Okay, so now our king can besiege Sirmium with no problem. And Lycurgus can attack uh, Segestica. And, um, yeah, our empire is looking pretty safe right now. So it seems like the Sarmatians are growing quite a bit. So they've taken Kartli and Colchis. And uh, they have all of these territories up here, including um, the Cimmerian Bosporus. Luckily, we're trading with them. So that's good. Hopefully they don't send any horse archer armies against me. But in any case, I'm going to have to end this stream in just a couple of minutes. So uh, would anyone like to ask any questions? Uh, I'm down to uh, show the... Uh, toggle off the fog of war and show the map. Show what's going on. Yes, the, the royal Thracian army has crushed the Roman army. That was a nice battle. 
So now we have a big Roman army in Sirmium uh, that we have to crush. Segestica doesn't have much of a garrison. And the Romans have a big garrison at, uh, well, they had one at uh, this city in Pannonia. So they're probably going to attack one of my armies here. If they attack Lycurgus, he might be in a bit of trouble. But um, yeah, in any case, uh, no, it was fun. This stream was fun. Uh, it, it's been very fun streaming um, Extended Cultures 5. I don't know. Uh, would anybody like me to uh, continue um, streaming Extended Culture 5? Please let me know in the comments below. Uh, even when I upload the stream later or once the stream becomes just a regular video, let me know in the comments if you would like to see. Um, some more Extended Cultures 5. I'm also down to uh, stream some other mods. Uh, I think I kind of want to wait for the next patch of Rome Total Realism 8 because I think that there were some combat things that they need to balance there, especially in terms of the, um, the cavalry speed and other things, so I might want to wait for that before streaming that one again. Um, Pahlava Europa Barbarorum 1? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, the last time I streamed EB1, it was quite unstable, and then it crashed. So I have to think about what I'm going to do with that. I might, um, I might actually install Jurisys's Mega Mod Pack with the submods for EB1.2, uh, and that might make it more stable. So I might do that, because I would like to uh, give it another go, give in Europa Barbarorum 1 stream another go. Um, EB2 as well could be an option. Uh, oh, I had promised that I was going to stream and do some videos about ancient empires and a DVD at Impera, and I have done neither. So it might be a good idea for next week if I do um, some DVD at Impera, because I've never streamed Rome 2 before. Um, or the New Three Kingdoms DLC. Let's see, I might put a poll up uh, and just see what people would like to see. But, um, but yeah, actually, in terms of battle AI, uh, there's nothing really we can do to change the Rome Total War battle AI. It's just things you can do around it, like switching stats or making general skirmish and things like that. So you can kind of affect certain aspects of the AI, but you can't edit it directly. Um, Rome Total War Battle AI, that is. Rome 1 Battle AI, I should say. Rome 2, maybe you can uh, edit the Battle AI, but I'm not sure. And Medieval 2, you can as well. But okay, so that was a fun stream. It was good to see everybody today. Um, I've never streamed on Wednesday before, but it seems like there were less people than usual. And I don't know if that's because it was Wednesday. I think it might have been because it was Wednesday. But, um, yeah, maybe I'll uh, do a stream on Saturday this weekend if I can make time uh, because it was fun. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, hello, Stellar. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I started this stream a bit earlier than usual, so unfortunately it's coming to a close. But a short summary. Oh, toggle the fog of war. Okay, so let's get away from our neighbors here. Okay, so in the, um, in the Middle East, uh, okay, Pontus has taken Sinope. The Sarmatians are quite powerful. And, uh, uh, yeah, Sarmatia is quite powerful. The Seleucids seem to be quite powerful as well. The Ptolemies look very powerful and very rich. It seems like Carthage might be having some trouble with the Numidians, which is good. Uh, the Romans are quite strong. Indeed, I shouldn't look at the Romans because I'm fighting them. Um, going far to the east, 
it seems like uh, Gandhara, the Indian faction, is uh, in a bit of a strange position compared to the other factions in the east, like Tukhara and uh, Bactria. So perhaps, I don't know, perhaps uh, the Bactrians uh, will be able to defeat them. It seems like Tukhara, the Tukharians, are not quite strong. They don't seem to um, have expanded much. Uh, the Parthians look to be quite powerful. And the Bactrians have taken this kind of Saka territory up in Central Asia. But other than that, things are going quite well. The Germans seem to be doing nicely as well as the Gauls. But let's see, actually it looks like the Romans have more territory in the north than I thought. And it seems like Macedon is um, not very strong, really. Yeah, and Epirus is also fighting the Romans. Okay, and that's today's toggle fog of war session. So I'll see you guys in the next stream.